Dear students, today we are going to discuss about a congenital orthopedic deformity known as Kieper Fitz syndrome. By definition, it uh, uh, this disease is associated with multiple abnormal segments of cervical spine caused due to defect in segmentation. And there is congenital fusion of two or more cervical vertebrae, and it, in 50% of cases, it presents with a classical triad. The classical triad comprises of low posterior hairline. There is shortening of neck and there is limited neck movements. It has been classified into three types. Type 1 is a massive, massive fusion of the cervical spine. Type 2 is fusion of 1 or 2 cervical vertebrae. And type 3 is type 1 or type 2 Clifford syndrome along with thoracic and lumbar spine deformities, abnormalities. Radiologically, you can always see a cervical fusion in Clifford syndrome which may be cranio cervical that is occiput to C2 or subaxial or combination of both of them together. It should be differentiated commonly from uh, torticollis. Uh, uh, absence of any apparent sternocleidomastoid contracture the rules of torticollis. And also X-ray will help in differentiating torticollis from clinical uh, field syndrome. Other differential diagnoses are congenital scoliosis. Acquired spinal fusion caused due to infection or some inflammatory disorders, certain syndromes and spindles deformity. You should know that some of these uh, differential diagnoses may, may coexist with Klippenfeld syndrome. Some of the associated disorders with Klippenfeld syndrome include spindles, shoulders, scoliosis, torticollis, and patient may develop neurological involvement due to trauma or scoliosis. If you want to read further about this disease, I would recommend these two uh, articles for further details. Thank you very much.